I have Xiaomi Smart Band 8 active in front of me and in this video I'm going to show you how to set it up. So the first thing we need to do here is to turn it on and to turn it on you're going to take the cable here and just plug it right here for charging. Once you do that check the battery level if it's above 30% then just unplug the cable and you will get to this screen here. So here we are going to choose the language, we're going to choose English. And once you choose the language, you're going to get to this screen here so you can scan the QR code to install the app. So let's do that next. Now to scan the QR code, I'm going to use my QR code scanner. Uh, if you don't have one installed, you can install one. Some phones also can do that with the camera. So try it out with the camera. And once you scan it, you're going to get to this page here. Tap here on the link. And once you tap on the link, you're going to get redirected to this page here and you can install the app from this page directly. Now that's one way to install the app. If that doesn't work for you, you can always go to your um, app store and search for Mi Fitness. And you can find it here directly. So this is how the app looks like. Once you find it, tap on install. Okay, now that the app is installed, tap on open. Here on start. Check the first check, tap on agree. Now choose your location here. I live in Austria, tap on next. And here it is. So the app is already set up. Uh, if you get this prompt, tap on OK here and you'll have to register. Now we'll have to register to connect the fitness band with the app. So you have to do this anyway. A few different options how you can do that. You can create an account here tap on a create an account if you have one you can just log in obviously but i'm going to use here this option to create an account with my google existing account because it's easier here i'm going to tap on agree and with this i'm pretty much done it's really that simple now we have here a pop-up i'm just going to tap on this button here manage health features tap on got it and yeah it's pretty much it it's it's really that simple. Now let's see how we can connect this device. To do that, tap here on the devices, here on agree. Obviously, you have to make sure that the Bluetooth is on, and of course, it is on here. And then here on agree again, I'm going to allow this and tap here on got it. And now, what you need to do is tap here on plus and tap here on add device. So now you'll see that your app is searching for the devices. Make sure that your fitness band is close to the phone. And we can see it here. It has already found that device. So once it finds it, tap here. And now wait for the connection to be done. Once you get to this step, you will see that both numbers are the same. You will tap here on check and here on continue. And with that, you are pretty much paired. Now the only thing left is to finish this setup here. You can tap here on done or go to the settings. I'm just going to tap here on done and continue to skip all of that. Here we'll have to go through this next, next and done. And then mirror for notifications, sure. Customize notifications, you can also tap here and set custom notifications, turn on notifications, tap on yes. You will scroll here down and tap on me fitness and I love this here and again I love it and this is important so you can get notifications from your app to the fitness band. Now let's go back again back and that's done and now we have the list of the apps installed on the, this phone so we can get notifications pretty much from any app you like um, whichever app for example I'm going to turn this one here and now once you get an email you're going to get notifications on your fitness band. So you can do that for any app you like. Once you're done, tap on done here. Incoming calls, tap on set and allow. You want to allow the uh, smartphone to notify again to show you here the incoming calls. So again, tap allow, allow again and allow. Now DND stands for don't disturb. So if you want uh, your smartphone when it's set on don't disturb, to set automatically your fitness band on Don't Disturb. You can do that here. It's really up to you. I'm going to dismiss and I really don't need it. I'm just showing you 
how this works, but you can set it up if you like. And that's pretty much the last step here. With that, we are done. Thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment box below. Again, thanks for watching. Have a nice day and see you in the next one. Bye-bye.